everybody welcome back to the channel this is a very very late May completed pages uh, wrap up I completed 23 pages in May um, as you can tell I've got a bit of a croak I've been ill with a chest infection which is why I've not done this until now so here we go I did one in Creative Haven Rose Windows if I can find it I've lost the ticket oh dear me it's one of those days the cat's jumping everywhere this one here again using the same mark as I always use um, which is the Crelanda ones from Lidl's because I really like them this is potentially going to be a book I'm going to finish at some point I like this book it is good fun um, and I've done quite a few in it so but yeah I was just done with the Crelando markers then I did one in the mermaid special in heaven my made special and I did this one this was just using various markers as you can see it's gone onto that page there I think that was I'm not actually sure what markers it was I think it was the ones from B&M um, hang on through that way. No gone through that side as well so I'll make sure if I use them again to leave the the thing in but yeah that was all right I was in just I enjoyed it it's a nice little book I did one in which fantasy oh, I did two actually in which fantasy by color Questopia this is using because this is a color by numbers I used my oh hoo hoo pens and I did this one I like this book actually I might color in this one again Again, this is just using the oh hoo hoos, um, the water ones, and this one. Really like this book. I can see me doing a lot more in here. When I'm feeling a bit better, I've not been colouring much this month. I've been reading a lot. But yeah, so that was that one. I do like that book though. Um, again, my favourite is Egyptian stained glass designs. Um, this is Sachin Sachdeva. This one I will definitely be finishing either this year or very early next year. Again, I've just used the Ohuhu markers, the uh, water based ones. Using them up, excuse the cat. And again, there. She wants to get out, but she'll have to wait for a minute. And that one. I do like this book though. I really like that book. I finished the one in Dunkelbunt by Sarah Ricketer that I started on camera. Um, I was done with the polychromos. I really like it. I think I used for the background um, the stone to make it look like bath stone. I think I pretty much used prism colour on that one. I absolutely love this book. I really like this book. I'll be colouring in this one again. So that one. So I'm sorry I didn't finish it on camera. I just haven't been well enough or had the time to do colouring chats, but I'm hoping to do one in the week, maybe Tuesday, get up Tuesday night. 50 Easy Mandalas, Jade Summer. This is just one that's been done with the old um, Link Shine pens. Just something to do while I'm passing the time, five minutes. All right, said. Oh, she managed to get out, good. Um, but yeah, I quite like that book. It's a nice easy book just to, when you don't feel like concentrating. We did one in uh, 50 Diamond Mandalas Colour by Numbers. By oh, Such and Such Diva. Oh, we did two actually. I did this one. Again, this is just using these Oh Hoo Hoo markers. Because they're nice and easy to use. I, this again is when I'm not in the mood for doing much. I'm just like, oh, let's just do it. <laughs> But I do like these books, they're nice and fun. And I've got a stain, uh, colour by number, sorry, flowers by Jade Summer. Again, the Ohuhus. I do like the Ohuhus, I like that colour, number two, that one I've used, it's very nice. Um, but yeah, again, a lot of it's this. And I did actually finish off a couple of whips that have been around for a while, which I'll be showing you shortly. So the first whip I finished was in a vintage Christmas, um, which is Relax With Art. And I started this one like two years ago. Like, not like Christmas just gone, but Christmas before, I never finished it. And I just thought, I just want to get some of these out of the way. And I just got it, and whatever markers were lying around, 
I did it and so I finished it it's not the best I've done but it hey it's all right it's also one for colour my hoard 2022 oh dear me and yes I am still buying colouring books I'm very naughty I know not as many as I was I did one in Sally Berry's 300 Mandalas and I did this one with the metallic pens from the works from their 60 box set it was really nice I really like this book I do like this book actually if you know again it's just a nice one to put next to you while you're watching a bit of telly and, and just let's have a go with it that one I'll put all these books away now there will be no haul this month because I only got like four books and one set of paints or something so that'll be in at the end of June I finally finished this one which one's been on the go for a few months um Link Shines again uh yeah love it I'm so glad I finally finished it because it's so I've, I've just every single one I've done with the sparkle pens the Link Shines and I do like using them in this book so what's next Ooh, that's quite a nice one. I'll enjoy that. A lot of blue and silver on there, I think. But, yeah, so... That's that one. One that has been on the go for so long is from Alan Robert, Beauty of Horror. It's a double page spread. I started it two or three years ago, a long time ago. I never finished it. I don't like the background. I was playing with the... Um, Neo Colour 2s. I'm not very good at, at blending them or anything like that. So it was a bit of a practice. It works better at the bottom than it does at the top. Probably because I was taking more time at the bottom. And I used Prisma Colours and Black Widows. Mostly Black Widows. But I was so glad to get this finally finished. Because it's been around for a long time as you can, you know. I've, 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 so, I mean I've still got a few Alan Roberts on the go so it's nice to actually finish that one finally colour by number mandalas by jade summer find it i did this one now this was done using the office supply felt pens i got in Lidl's. i'll probably end up giving them to to jennifer they're all right they're not brilliant i still maintain the best normal felt pens you will ever buy and can ever invest in are the Crayolas because they don't put up the paper as much um, but yeah there's nothing wrong with it it's just a nice picture so. another one that's been hanging around for a while is the fairies in nature special from colour in heaven uh, so i did find it blimey it's right about this one i took this one blown away so you've got the little girl and then you've got all the little fairies that are the things on a dandelion clock background is pebbles chalks uh, i'm not really sure what mark but pencils they were maybe uh, black widows or polychromos one of the two maybe a mixture of both because i do that but i'm so glad to finish it. it's been hanging around for such a long time i started this picture when this magazine came out and i've only just finished it so yeah I'm glad it's done that one another colour in heaven was the collection stained glass flowers this is an, a new book I have I've only done the first one just done with markers and yeah it's nice a really nice picture I quite like the really nice patterns in this book so I'm going to enjoy this a lot of colour in heaven this month actually I did, did a few what's that so then I've got Sarah Kay Colour in Heaven collection. Um, these ones I've done them all in watercolours and this is the one I did. And this was done using the Crelando watercolours from Lidl's. Um, there is no skin tone. I made the skin tone myself by uh, mixing a red, a white and a sort of ochre colour. And it makes a nice skin tone. But yeah, I didn't do a patch, but I think that looks quite good the way it is. But all the ones I've done this, I've done with watercolours. Usually with pencils, you can tell that's a pencil looks better. I'm not very practised with using proper watercolours, but I thought I'd give it a go. So I like that. I do like this book for watercolouring. And the last one, again, another colour in heaven. This is the Halloween special from last year. I started when I used the Crelando 
pencils from Lidl's but finished it off with the Black Widows I think and it's the Wizard of Oz one, the witch, the Wicked Witch but yeah quite like it glad to get it finished and off my whip pile which is still huge but it is going down now so yeah that's everything I coloured in the month of May I hope you've enjoyed this video I'm not sure what my favourite one is I, I really don't know uh, maybe the fairies in nature one because it's really nice um, but yeah so that's everything I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next month hopefully with a haul and the other one well I can't remember and the completed pages when I've done some more. I'll see you soon. Bye everyone!